Now regulatory proteins. There are two. One is called tropomyosin, another is called troponin. Here you can see a rod-like structure. It actually, is a thin filament. You can see this rod-like structure. This one is called tropomyosin, and this one is called troponin. Tropomyosin is a rod-like protein. It expands or covers about seven actin subunits. It means this tropomyosin is associated with seven different actin subunits. Right? Tropomyosin fits in the groove. Here, it, this is the groove. As we know, the F actin, two F actin, is twisted around each other. So, during the twisting, a groove will form. Here it is. This is one, and this is another. Here you can see this is one F actin, and this is the other F actin. And this is the groove between them. In this groove, this tropomyosin is attached, is it remain or remains associated. Right? It is a rod like structure. Now, troponin. It is a globular protein that has three subunits. One is called troponin C, another is called troponin I, and Another is called troponin T. This C subunit is called calcium binding subunit. As calcium ion binds with this subunit and this troponin I, this subunit inhibits the binding of S1 that is myosin head to actin molecule. And this T subunit links the whole troponin molecule to tropomyosin molecule. That is, it is responsible for linking of whole troponin molecule to tropomyosin. We can remember the function of these three subunits in this manner C for calcium. You can see here is C and the first alphabet is C. Here I, I for I subunit. Here I for inhibits, inhibition. T, this one is subunit of troponin. This T for tropomyosin. This is responsible for association of whole this troponin subunit to tropomyosin. Now, the two, one is a, here you can say, one is this troponin molecule, another is this. The distance between these two troponin molecule is about 40 nanometer. Next, now 